but 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 see who's got the but but who's got the but 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 hey guys you're here with mary and zara and this is the second episode of grubby finger girls Today, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite historic Dunedin crushes, Dr. Henry Manning. Ooh, I look forward to that. And I'm going to talk about the chafing of the thighs. And of course, we're going to have our fan favorite star signs at the end of the episode. But first, let's indulge in a little bit of chit chat. Woo! Zara, do you like wearing t-shirts? So, I have this wonderful t-shirt idea. My favourite saying at the moment is burn in hell because it's so severe and I like to say it in um, kind of minor circumstances. Like if someone leaves the marmite out, I'm like... Sits on your bed maybe, (laughs) maybe even lies on your bed. (laughs) Exactly. Mm. I just say, oh, I hope you burn in hell. So Mm. me and the little kid I look after (laughs) have uh, come up with a t-shirt idea. We're going to put... Burn in hell on a t-shirt with a nice floral arrangement around the burn in hell. That's a really cute idea. I would buy one of those t-shirts. $29.99. Yes, exactly. Wonderful. I'll give you one for free, Mary. Oh, thanks. What a champ. <laughs> Bonuses of being my friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I'm just here for the burn in hell t-shirts. <laughs> um, I've had some exciting news this week. My partner, Nolani, and I are maybe adopting a dog. <gasps> That's the best news ever. Um, he's very, very big, so he wouldn't be able to join the little dog walking club for little dogs, but he could be like the, the, just the big buddy of the little dogs who go for walks. Yeah. And he's really cute and his name's Ollie and he's got a sore eye, but he'll get better soon. I think that's the nicest thing you could ever do is adopt a little puppy who needs you. Well, yeah. an old dog, but yeah. he needs you. Yeah. And then you can boop his snooter. Yeah. What do you think, Bus? <laughs> He likes it. Hello, welcome to the topic of Dunedin Historic Crushes. Mary, tell us about your Dunedin Historic Crush. Well, I have a crush on a doctor called Henry Manning. So he was one of the very first settlers here in Dunedin. One of the very first doctors actually to come to the region. Did you learn about him at your job? I might have learned about him at my job. (laughs) Now, I'm not many people know about him. I suppose when we think about Dunedin historical old white guys, we think William Cargill and Tommy Burns. But I think everyone should actually start talking about Dr. Henry Manning because he is far superior than those two ugly old mugs. I would like to hear some more information about this chap and guy. Well, firstly, he was extremely good looking. Which really helps you have a crush on someone. Um, He had beautiful, beautiful silky curls that lay around his face. Oh, I like a good curl. And the nice thing about Dr. Henry Manning, he wasn't afraid to look after himself. He put curlers in every night to achieve this beautiful effect. Wow. Sometimes when he'd um, have patients in the morning, the curlers would still be attached to his curls. (gasps) So they could tell that he curled it. Oh, what a good guy. too good to be true. Where <laughs> yeah. is he now? Can we dig him up? <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Henry also really loved horse riding. Um, he especially liked riding his horses very, very fast. And he was a little bit of a bad boy. He quite often got arrested for furious riding through the streets of Dunedin because he'd splash everyone with mud. And in Dunedin, in the old days, there was a lot of mud. So they didn't appreciate it being splashed. It just sounds like a bit of mischief. I mean, yeah. something you can do on a hot day. And he did it. He shouldn't get in trouble for a little bit of mischief. He also once um, challenged a judge to a duel. And did he accept? I don't think he did. I think they were trying to stop this kind of crazy behavior in the olden days. And they didn't duel. But I wish they did because Henry would have won. He would have won. Yeah. Now, um, Henry married a really lovely lady called Eliza. She was also really into horse riding very furiously. So I think they were a good match. And um, I don't mind that my crush got married. I support it. Do you see yourself as Eliza in the <laughs> fantasies? Oh, ooh. Ooh, I hadn't considered that before. 
Um, Eliza used to have an umbrella that she would open up and she would ride furiously one-handed with her umbrella over her head. So mm-hmm. I think she was conscious about skin protection and the dangerous sun. She knew. Yeah, she, she knew. knew. before anyone even She was knew. probably a witch. She probably was. That's yeah. you, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, but they couldn't have um, kids, which was really sad. But um, Henry really, really loved children. He was such a generous soul. He would always help the poor and the sick. Someone's at the house. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, I'm so sure. Who's, is someone at the door? I think that is that his mum. <laughs> Open the door. Let's have a look. Oh, it is mum. Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Oh, hello, Mary. Zara, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zara's mum, who lived across the street, just popped in for a brief visit. And now we'll get back to historic crushes. So I was saying about um, Dr. Henry Manning and how generous he was with the poor and the sick and children. He once actually threw a party for his neighborhood kids. So everyone was invited to bring their children around to his house. A few parents were a little bit suspicious because they knew he was a little bit of a mischief maker. Mm -hmm. So they didn't let their kids go. Now, um, the kids that did go were treated to quite, quite a feat. Uh, Dr. Henry Manning had a giant pie there at the party. So this huge pie. And all along the top of the pie were colourful ribbons running from the centre to the circumference. Now what Henry did was got a really big knife and very carefully cut along each ribbon of the pie. Now he did this over and over till all the slices were cut. He then reached in lifted up a piece of pie and gave it each to a child. Now, inside the pie were very delicate, interestingly shaped cardboard boxes. So as the children took off the lid of the pie, the pastry lid, inside revealed a live kitten. (gasps) What the heck? So you could imagine how excited the children were to receive a piece of pie with a little kitten inside. Oh my gosh, I would have given anything to go to that party. You can imagine the children whose parents didn't let them go when they then heard the legend of the kitten pie and that they'd missed out. <laughs> quite quite sour, I'd say, but that's all right. Those parents out there who didn't let their kids go, shame on you. They are very, very dead now, but... <laughs> shame, shame on you. Burn in hell. <laughs> Burning bloody hell. <laughs> so that was our episode of Historic Crushes. I hope to bring you some more Historic Crushes in the future. That was a beautiful, beautiful story, and I'm glad I know about this guy, and I'm kind of sad he's dead, but let's go find his grave today. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Hey guys, guess this mystery sound. Can you guess that sound? It's Zara eating peanut M&Ms. Hey guys, it's Mary and Zara. And today we're going to talk to Zara about a very awful problem. Chafing. Have you got a story for us, Sarah? Yes. Well, chafing has always bothered me in between the thighs. But this time in particular was the worst. Let me tell you, Mary. What happened? So I was at the beach. Bright and gala day. Oh, what a day. And it was stinking, stinking hot. And I had to go for a swim. Why didn't you go in the nude? Well, I'll think about that for next time. Anyway, so I borrowed this wetsuit, Jed's wetsuit, and I put it on. It was a hell of a time getting on, I'll tell you that. Have you ever tried putting on a wetsuit? Oh, my gosh. Have you, Mary? (laughs) I never have, I have to say. It's an experience I'm yet to experience. Well, it's really a four-person job. Anyway, once I got all my rollies in the wetsuit. Like a, like a pug in a, in a sausage casing. I did. I looked like a pug. And I was the only one in one, of course, because it was stinking hot. 
Anyway, I walked around in it all day, like hours, maybe eight hours of walking. And Girl, <laughs> you should have known better. I should have known. <laughs> anyway, I felt sore on my thighs, but I, was, I just ignored the pain because I was having fun. When I got home, <laughs> I peeled off the bathing, the wetsuit, to my shock horror, <laughs> my thighs were bleeding. <laughs> Poor girl. Have you ever had it that bad, Mary? Never to blood running down my thighs, but I sympathise with you, girl. So, I uh, tried to look after them as best I could by wearing leggings for the whole week, even though it was hot. And But one particular day I wore these lycra leggings. Not the lycra. <laughs> and just when I thought my legs were healed, somehow the skin stuck to the lycra. And anyway, dried. When I peeled it off at the end of the day, it was like a band-aid. I had two raw patches of bleeding, gooey skin on my thighs. Poor girl. So, uh, back to square one with that. Are you healed now? I am healed, and I kind of have forgotten about it. But um, next summer, I'm sure it'll happen again. Thank you for sharing. That was Zara with her chafing adventure. Hey guys, we're back with our star signs. Woo! First things first, Capricorn. To avoid conflict in your life, make everyone a cheese toasty. Hello Aquaries. Feeling horny? The kitchen is full of misconnections. Pisces, with the rising of the moon, your likelihood of being flashed increases. Those Aries out there, I see you. Try the Wellington Farmer's Market, $1.50 pineapples. Hey Taurus, drink a lift plus. Gemini, burn in hell. Cancer, if someone offers you a cheese toasty, it's a subtle way of telling you that you're being a jerk. Hello Leo! Wear yellow. It'll increase your likelihood of being murdered. Virgo, you don't deserve a lift plus. Go home. Hello, Libra. Is your palate fire causing you hallucinations? Try warm up with a hot chocolate instead. Scorpio, watch out for crispy bagels. No one likes strawberry jam. Those sag vagers out there like me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Chafing. Ugh.